Hey there, everybody on YouTube. Um, yeah, um, this is Josh, uh, Bear Love Socks. Long time no see with a camera. Uh, yeah, um, haven't, um, was looking around today and I, uh, well, I, w I don't know what I was doing, but I was looking for something in one place and then all of a sudden I look here and oh my gosh, I find a camera. Well, it isn't the best camera, but it'll do for tonight. So yeah, um, this is gonna be a system test, system test one of my new system um, I have here in my new house. Um, and first, we're gonna, I'm gonna try to do a short video here because it's past like 10 o'clock and everybody's sleeping. But basically, for my system, I have a MS 5210UD fire alarm control panel communicator. Uh, the communicator setting is currently turned off. Um, I do have phone line to it going to a magic jack, but that just screws the entire thing up. So I don't use that. But um, basically, here is the inside. If I can find my key. Yeah. Here we go. I got this for Christmas um, from a um, YouTube member who is awesome. But anyway, here's the inside of my panels. Batteries are not hooked up. I need to find a clip to connect right there. Um, you can see everything. Um, it has all zones except for 8, 9, and 10 are in trouble. Um, and it has, let's see here, I believe I have Bell 1. Or NAC, the first NAC, which would be strobes, doesn't have a resistor. And then I have zone 8 and 9. Oops, there it goes. So yeah, it has a ground fault, which really, really messes the thing up. Yeah, you can see. It's going to take a while. And you might think this is crazy. This is the only way to silence that piezo. It's quite annoying. <sighs> I have to do that to silence it. See, and it's going to do that again. It does this a couple times, but usually it lets me off. One of these times it'll let me silence it without resetting itself. Oh my god, stupid thing. Oh, sorry about this. Um, so basically, yeah. If it doesn't silence, I will let it go. There we go. Whew. Yes. All right. Now let's see here. Nine. No batteries. And I think it was phone one and phone. No phone. That wouldn't be part of it. All right. So let's just go over brief over, brief over the system. Look over the system. Um, I have conduit running up. I'm proud of myself. Used conduit. Um, conduit going up to a smoke detector right there. And then the other side goes up through that conduit, and then it branches off into th two directions. It goes up like that, and then it comes across. This junction box comes down the wire mold to my 2099 dash. I forget the model number. I got this from Sacker Dude 7330. Um, he converted it from conventional or er, from adjustable to conventional for me. Um, here I have a simplex 2903 strobe plate with a 9806 horn. Um, and here I have it, one of the same horn strobes, opposite direction, turned upside down. And then um, over here I have a old smoke detector, forget the model number. Um, in this video I will not be testing smoke detectors that will be coming in a video soon to come. Um, here, this is my room. Um, don't mind this, this is my air handler. Um, I have a 4251-20 pull station with conduit going up to a 2903 strobe plate with a 9806 horn like the others, and that goes up there. And so here's that. And then over here by the panel, I have a wire going up. Or there's a black tube. I'm not sure if you can see it. Goes up under and comes. There and I have a simplex duct detector. I forget the model number, but it is a yeah, it's a duct detector. So 
happy for that. Um, so to continue this video, this is going to be short. Um, yeah, my basement kind of a mess. Oh, um, continuing on. Um, in this room, I have a. Oh, time's going up. Uh, Edwards Genesis strobe set on 35 candela. And then going up the stairs here, you have a Spectralar Advance Classic White Strobe. And then coming up here, you have a Firelight BG12. So, to start the system test off, I'm going to go upstairs. And I'm going to test the things I have going upstairs, yes. I know, my house is kind of you know, but, so let me, right here, yes, this is my awesome bedroom, kind of messy, but, it's a bedroom, you can see my messy desk there, yeah, so anyway, um, here we have, this is kind of, Ooh, bad wiring job, it's going to be replaced, fire alarm instruction system is normal and no sound is coming from the horn, Fire lettering is lit steadily, which means that this is lit steadily. Um, th there is a fire when the horn sounds in temporal pattern. The fire lettering is blinking in a fashion with the horn. If you see a fire, pull the alarm box nearest to your location. Promptly exit the building. Fire drill, exit out the door. Go down the stairs and exit out the front door. Yeah, yeah. Here is an Edwards 270 SPO, and up here is a Sibilex 2903. I didn't do this, but whoever had it before, or in the old county building where I got it from, they did a really odd modification job where they retrofitted the 2903 plate and put in a mass, um, system sensor mass horn. So I don't know, but that is set on the lower continuous horn. And the, temp and the panel is quoted quarter temp to temporal pattern, by the way. Anyway... So without further ado, I'm going to get my screwdriver here, I think it fits, yeah, let's pull the pull station. Once we set the pull station. First one. Not. It's stupid like that. <sighs> okay. So I'm gonna have to find my keys here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this panel. Um, I'm working on fixing this. It has a ground fault, which I heard from member on DFA. It's like a ghost hidden um, trouble in the panel, which would be undetectable. Um, for purposes, I am going to, for testing purposes, I am going to disconnect the NAC, just for the factor of being able to test. There. Being able to test just the strobes. Um, this video is going to be over 10 minutes, but I think that's okay. Screw it. Um, yeah. So we are going to test the pull station in here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. 
can hear the panel really clicking. There you go. Now you see? Flash. Let's go into here. Yeah. See that? And then... Stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. My panel. Yeah. But... And then we'll go right over here to this complex station. And pull it. There we go. We'll just reset it right away. Reset. Alrighty. Good deal. Um, and that is the end to a very hectic system test. One. Um, t I will have a shorter system test tomorrow, hopefully. So, with that, that is the end of system.